What are you doing in my room? We are here to shoot your King of the Nerds video. Oh, well, you know what? That's great. I'll give you a bio, I'll show off my collections, and I'll show you why I should be King of the Nerds. My name is Donovan Santiago. I am 23 years old. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, and that is where I currently live. And basically, I was born April 17, 1991, and ever since I was a little kid, I always had a fascination with monsters and sci-fi universes and creatures and all that stuff. One of the first movies I ever watched, actually, as a kid, was the original King Kong, 1933, and I think that movie has stuck with me since. Uh, currently, right now, I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I am an actor and I love creating my sci-fi series. That is right, I have a sci-fi series. I have over 40 books and you're going to get to see a little bit of my sci-fi series later. Uh, and I'm also a college graduate. I have a BFA, a Bachelor in Fine Arts from Five Towns College. And then that's a little bio about me. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of Marvel over here and Star Wars and video games. You can see some great video games. Uh, Mass Effect, Call of Duty, Singularity, GTA, there's a John Cena DVD. You go up here, you got some N64 games, Super Smash Bros., Star Fox 64, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, and they got more video games over here. Uh, Crisis, Batman, Alien vs. Predator, Lost Via Domus, yes, I actually brought that game. And then you got more stuff up here of my collection. That's just a little taste. Hey, sir, can you answer a question? Oh, sure, why not? Hold on, let me get off my hoodie. <sighs> What's the question? Um, do you think Donovan Santiago can be king of the nerds? Of course! Donovan Santiago can be king of the nerds. I would take that guy over Aunt May. That's how cool he is. Um, we used to web sling in high school. Of course he's going to be king of the nerds. So yeah, I have a variety of different action figures as you can see. This box is full of a lot of Star Wars stuff. This is a lot of Marvel and uh, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, but here you go. Terminator and Juggernaut. I would love to see these characters face, honestly. I think it's a nerd's dream to see these two face. I don't know when they're going to face. And they got some more action figures over here. My little boy Venom, Goku, Doctor Doom. And then one of my favorites, still works after all these years. Vegeta, I'm surprised. I think I brought this in 98. I like it. My name's is Sir Turkey, and I'm a best friend of Donovan the Prince Santiago, and I believe that boy needs to be the king of the nerds because he could be the king of my nerd any day. And I'm talking about the candy. Don't don't think it's like that any inappropriate stuff, because I ain't inappropriate. I will Captain Kirk Kung Fu punch you. <laughs> I also own three of my favorite characters in hoodie form. First up is Darth Vader, the Dark Lord of the Sith. Up next is Batman. I'm Batman. And then everybody's favorite amazing Spider-Man. And then, of course, my Daniel Bryan shirt. Look at that. I'm wearing wrestling, Spider-Man, Batman, and Star Wars. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, God. You can't blink. I know, I know. <laughs> the return. Come on, big boy. Snort. do you prefer, Star Wars or Star Trek? Personally, Mr. Cameraman, I've always been a bigger fan of Star Wars. Don't get me wrong, I love both series, but to me, Star Wars always had the better action figures. To me, it had, I think, the better films, especially Empire Strikes Back. And to me, I always uh, was a big fan of the comics and the video games and the novels and all that stuff. And to me, I just felt like Star Wars was a more connected universe. And I guess maybe the action. But don't get me wrong, I love Star Trek. I have a huge passion for it. But for some reason, I just always loved Star Wars. What you drawing there? Well, I'm drawing an alien for my sci-fi universe. This is actually book number 40. If you want, I'll show you some more drawings. Would you like to see? Sure. So, yeah, essentially I have a huge passion for sci-fi, as you can see by my drawings. I've actually, uh, funny story, I've been drawing sci-fi since uh, pretty much 2002, and I've drawn aliens, monsters, spaceships, robots. I've been creating stories, novels, plots, movie plots, TV show plots, uh, you name it. Why do you want to be on King of the Nerds? What can you add to the cast? I'll tell you why I want to be on King of the Nerds. I want to be on King of the Nerds because I'm sick and tired of this stereotype of nerds and geeks. And guess what? I want to prove that wrong. Why? Because people, when they look at me, they're probably like, nah, he's not a nerd. He's not a geek. He doesn't like wrestling or Star Wars or all that stuff. But let me tell you something. When you talk to me, I can talk about those things for hours. I can talk about Star Wars and Star Trek. I collect the action figures. I collect the movies, the DVDs, the t-shirts. I collect them all and I want to prove that you don't need to have a specific look to be a nerd or a geek. All you need is a passion. And I'm going to show to the entire world why I deserve to be the king of the nerds. 